As cases of the virus rose sharply in the province of Hubei, military medical personnel were called in. Yesterday was named the deadliest day after officials there broadened the definition to diagnose people, bringing the total number of deaths in China to more than 1,360. But its spread is vast. There are now more than 60,330 confirmed cases of coronavirus worldwide. The virus spread from China to at least 25 other countries, including the UK. The first case in London has now been confirmed in a woman travelling from China to Heathrow. And that case in the capital has sparked fears that the virus could spread even further via people using public transport. Some experts calling London's underground system a hotbed, something this doctor says isn't true. The risk of contracting coronavirus on a tube or any other public transport is not there. We've not seen what we call community transmission, which is what would happen on the tube, uh, anywhere outside Hubei province in China with the uh, coronavirus. But on board the Japanese quarantined Diamond Princess, 44 more people have tested positive, a concern for passengers. I think the numbers are a little higher than we were hoping. I thought maybe the numbers would drop faster. Um, but uh, it's definitely when it comes over the, the announcement speaker, you're kind of like, oh. Meanwhile, after trying to dock in five countries in Asia and with no suspected cases on board, the MS Westerdam has been accepted at a port in Cambodia. As the coronavirus gathers pace across Asia, rap star Stormzy announced he's postponing the Asian leg of his world tour. But one event that's not being cancelled is the Tokyo 2020 Olympics, the committee confirming that it's still going ahead in July. As medics in China work hard to control the virus, many countries across the world are doing the same. It's hoped that by putting strict measures in place, it'll stop it from continuing to spread. Catherine Nash, Five News.